Girls, come on, let's go. Get in here. What are you doing? Come on. Hello, Maddie. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Ooh, Good. Oh, this yeah. is a nice studio. The time has finally come for nationals. We are in Los Angeles, California. Hollywood, Burbank, everything is here. I wanted my kids to attend a nationals here in this city because this city is all about stars and I make stars. I have a lot to do. We have exciting things happening with some of our members. It's busy. Gang's all here. Well, not all of them. So you didn't wait to get called in. You just chomped in here. They don't follow the rules like we do. <laughs> well, you guys are perfect, I guess. I don't know. Sorry for interrupting, Abby. Abby, what is the purpose of the select team right now? To dance, to win. The select team has trumped my junior elite competition team three times already. But this is a learning process. I'm trying to teach my girls something. And I want to see, in this national competition, if the Junior League team has learned their lesson. I am in it to win it. Absolutely, it's all about the win. These kids have won three nationals in a row. I think the winds are changing. A lot is riding on this. This team has never lost at nationals. You've beaten this team. The elite competition team, they're the national winners three years in a row. We don't need the select team this week. It's just one more diversion for Abby. And trying to keep her focus is going to be a challenge in and of itself. All right, let's get to Pyramid. Chloe, you didn't dance, obviously, last week. But I hope you enjoyed the show. Abby, I wanted to let you know that we had a doctor's appointment yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. And I talked to the orthopedist, and she cleared her to dance. So she's good. Fine. I just got cleared by the doctor that I can dance. So everything is coming together, and I'm so excited because last year I wasn't at nationals. Next, we have Mackenzie. In the show, sometimes you were amazing, sometimes you were silly. I gotta get you out of my system. I gotta get you off of my mind. Next, Nia. It was good, it was strong, but it wasn't what I just saw the week before. You didn't live up to that expectation. Next, we have Kendall. Kendall, it was your confidence, your ability to get up in releve, to be properly placed in the turn, to keep your shoulders down and nail it. Next, we have Cameron. What I like about your dancing, you knew where I was, and you found me. I can see her face all the way from here. Maddie, I just threw her at the top of the pyramid. She didn't have to dance. She proved herself in every number in that concert. And besides that, the other work, the other things, the other opportunities are tremendous. Maddie, she didn't even have to give me 45 seconds of her best. I've seen her best over and over again. Abby, um, there's a huge box out here that was just delivered with your name on it. Can one of you guys help me bring it in? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know what, guys? We need to stay focused. It's about the dancing, and we need to get to it. So we're not going to have anything to do with this. A present arrived from Kathy. Really? She's just sending something over to our rehearsal to play these childish, stupid games and to let me know that she's in town. Guess what? Nobody cares, Kathy. All right, I don't want to waste any more time. Hi, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, hi. hi. How did Ava and Jeanette end up here at this rehearsal studio? Did they think I've lost my mind? That I didn't remember kicking them out? You are not really what I'm looking for for the Slack team. Stalker. Now do you believe a stalker? 
Ava's here right now, and we are here because of perseverance and determination. If they want to call that stalking, then so be it. She's still part of the team. What? No, Abby I thought called. Abby kicked Actually, you off along with... No. You guys were gone. Another no. one. How are you? Yeah, how are you? Good. Let's take this off. Thank you. Abby. She's not part of the team. We want to be here. You were cut from the team. When was she cut? <laughs> I was never told she was cut. Shush! Chloe, step forward. Not this is when time. I was in there. This not is when time I was number in there. three. Ava, stand next to Chloe. Who does this to their kid? Ava, you're too tall for us today. You're cut. Thank you. You can go. Is that clear enough for you? Thank you for this opportunity. Honey, you're a great dancer. You're going to be successful if you can get away from your mother and get great training. Go. Get away from me? Yes. For great training? She's you're... a beautiful dancer. I know. Who do you think she's trained her? I'm speaking for her. I can't believe you came here just to put Ava through this again. I don't want to put her through it. Well, you I didn't are. know she we was are. cut. I'll tell you what, this is what definitely not said. the team I thought. Get out. Is she just going to keep on coming back till you have to take a big stick and just beat her over the head with it? We have to We have to go. We have to get on with this. It's nationals. I don't have time for their antics. Let's go. Everybody out. Come on, come on, come on. I don't think I've ever been so nervous to walk into Pyramid as I am right now. It's bad enough that we got fourth place at competition last week, but Abby and I got in a big fight, and I know she's mad at me. I just want to look at what fourth place looks like. I really can't remember when the Abby Lee Dance Company competition team came in fourth. That had to be 20, 25 years ago. It was devastating to me. This weekend, we will be traveling to Voorhees, New Jersey. We will be attending On Stage America. I don't want to be fourth again. On the bottom, Mackenzie. You will not be performing in the group routine this weekend. Next. Maddie. Maddie and Mackenzie were both at the bottom. It was you know, a little different. It is what it is. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. At Nationals, you were amazing. Just as good as Chloe. But Chloe won. And ever since then? I think maybe Melissa and Maddie need to get used to taking a turn at the bottom, because we've all been there. Paige, once again, it's the same pattern, Kelly. It's like, she doesn't have to work anymore. Like, I went, I won, third was good enough for me. Mia, you're doing fine, but is fine gonna make you a star? Kendall, you didn't pull my eyes in a negative way, you actually pulled them in a positive way. When I don't say your name and I stop yelling at you, get worried. I'm ecstatic because Kendall's never been off the bottom row of the pyramid. We're moving up. This is what we're working towards. This is good. And Chloe, I thought you looked great. It was good. Was it exactly what you were supposed to do? Now, go out there and do the routine that you were taught the way I envision it. Better yet, Chloe, do it better than I can imagine it. That's an answer. And on top of the pyramid, I think the kids think it's going to be Brooke. <laughs> Not a chance. It's nobody. Nobody in a group that got fourth deserves that spot. Brooke, I don't have you on the team. She's been here every week. What is the purpose of her coming every week if you're not going to put her on the pyramid? Brooke, do you want to be here? See, that to me is not <laughs> a response that I'm looking for. I've been playing by the rules with Abby. I haven't been name calling. I haven't been fighting with her. And Abby still won't put her on the pyramid. It's like she's playing a game with me. I really don't care, because I think your pyramid is a crock of shit anyways. Where is she? I wonder where Abby is. <laughs> she ditched us in Jersey. Maybe she didn't come home. Abby's late to Pyramid because she doesn't want to face the moms. Last time she saw us, she ditched us and our kids, and we're going to hold her accountable for that. Who thinks Miss Abby is going to apologize for leaving us oh, stranded? Oh, God, no. She never apologizes. Honestly, I think there's only one reason why Abby left the competition in New Jersey, and that's because Maddie forgot her dance, and it's totally unreasonable. 
I want to go again. Can I please go again? Maybe it's just in the ladies' room. We stood there for probably a good 30 minutes, and we were wondering where Abby was because she was nowhere to be found. I need her. I mean, my kids need her. Does anybody feel black cloud approaching? What's yeah. the weather forecast? So, I guess it's welcome back. New York City didn't turn out exactly the way I had hoped. In 10th place, heard them first, Abby Lee Dance Company. Hey there. Chloe, congratulations. You were the winner. Our top junior soloist, Saint 91, Red Chloe! You didn't only win for yourself, you won for the Abby Lee Dance Company. You won for me, for my name and my reputation, so that was good. Uh, Holly, you were quite upset with me. And I didn't see any tears from you, Abby, when my kid ran off the stage. It's a horrific. I don't care. I know you don't care, and that's my point. Um, I think you assumed that I was upset because Maddie ran off the stage. And you're absolutely right. And that's why I left. After Maddie forgetting her dance, I was at my wit's end. As their coach, as their teacher, they all deserve a hug. Nia had you. She went to you when she forgot her dance. Why don't you be the adult and the leader and console them first? You Do yelled it. at Paige and told her she was stupid. And when Maddie does it, oh, you forgive her and it's OK. It's not her fault. Yeah, I think the that. case in point is, is we know that you don't care. Some kids are just special. I did not abandon the team. Nobody pays me to go to a competition. I am going there to be the dance teacher, not to sit in a room and babysit their children. Enough. My time is very valuable. I did not call you in here to discuss this. We're talking about this week. You are going to Next Star competition in LA, and those little kids in LA are good, and you all know that. In California, the kids just are fearless. They know they need to be forthcoming with their emotions. Our kids don't do that. It takes a lot to draw that personality out of a kid. So. Let's start with the pyramid. Paige, the one thing we talked about, as soon as we got the props, you have to handle that prop. You're responsible for that prop. You can't let it get away from you. As soon as you started the competition, the prop went right away from you. Nia, when we were rehearsing the number, you wore a bike guitar, and the entire rehearsal, you pulled at that and pulled at that and pulled at that. You can't concentrate on what you're doing. Brooke, we get to the Joffrey, everybody else runs in with their point shoes on, and you're not gonna do point. So they're looking at that as if, wait a minute, her ankles should be strong enough to go on point. Next, we have Maddie. Should you be at the bottom of the pyramid? Because you ran off the stage? Yes, you should. You're the responsible one that everybody counts on. That's why you're here. When Chloe, Nia, and Paige forgot their dance, they were at the bottom of the pyramid. I think that Maddie is in the middle of the pyramid because, again, it goes back to Abby playing favorites. Next, I have Mackenzie. Mackenzie, you should be proud of yourself that you're this high on the pyramid. It's your charisma, it's your face that are moving the audience. I'm excited that I'm moving up at the pyramid. And Chloe, congratulations. You are on top of the pyramid. You're gonna be featured in the group number. Here we go again. She quit, but yet we're back. Okay. Last week, Abby locked the studio doors. We couldn't get in. But we saw on social media that she's been teaching classes. We all know that she has been dealing with her legal issues, but hopefully things have calmed down and she'll be here this week. Hello, ladies. You all look beautiful. You were gone last week. Are you back? for good this week, because you resigned. That was the last information that we had. We received an email that she's resigning. What? Do you still want to do the competition team or not? Uh, no. But you're here. The money's worth it to the attorneys, not to me. I could care less. Do you want us to leave? What do you want us to do? We could call Debbie Allen because she has a space available. Do you want us to do that? What do you want us to do? We're here. You weren't there last week, so. I was on vacation. No, you resigned. You, <laughs> you didn't, said you, you resigned. resigned. That's not vacation. That was the last we heard from you. OK, so if I'm here four days out of five, or if I'm here two days out of five, what 
difference does it make? I get, I get my work finished. When you have a general on the combat field, the general doesn't go AWOL. Oh, I think that generals have resigned in the past. You're the school teacher. I don't know what to do. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Abby's checked out. I don't know. Why is your daughter not in here warming up, is what I want to know. I'm going to go get the kids. I'm going to go get the kids. Let's get the kids. It's incredibly disappointing to be on an elite competition team for several years and have Abby not invested in the girls. But you know what? We're committed and loyal to the team, even if she's not. Welcome, everybody. How are you little ones doing? Are the minis on the pyramid today? The minis are on the pyramid. The reason we're back this week is we made a commitment to Abby when she invited us here the first time that we would be here and be on this team. Maddie is not here. She's in New York City. I wasn't there last week. I don't really care what happens. I know I had three duets in. Hey, did you see any of the duets? Actually, I did. I saw the people that beat you. They're nobodies. Nobodies. Again, you had a group routine. I thought it was sloppy. I thought it was a hot mess. Abby has no right to comment. She wasn't even at the competition. The Bollywood number was beautiful, and it won. Well, Abby, Ashley had a problem with um, Kendall and Bryn's duet. It, it was the highest duet here in this room, but it came in third, and she's used to always winning. So maybe this isn't like the place lose. for her. Well, no one likes to lose. She wanted the harder part. I don't see what's wrong with going to a competition and wanting to win. No one said that. Well, if you don't want to win, you shouldn't go. Exactly my point. OK, let's move on. So, girls. Pyramid. First, at the bottom of the pyramid is Peyton. You need to wash out your mother's mouth with soap. Peyton was in the corner going, Mommy, stop. Mommy, do stop. No, she didn't. Peyton was on my lap, dumb. Next, we have Ari. For the level of your dancing, you should be able to pick up the choreography at that same level of expertise. And you don't. Next, we have Alexis. You pick up well, but nature isn't on your side. It's the flexibility, the strength, the turnout, all of those things you're lacking. And Alyssa, you pick up quick, you're smart, you're not built like your mom. Right now, that's not a problem. Someday it will be. Moving up, JoJo. I think that you welcome every genre of dance, and I think that you enjoy learning new things. It's not a bad thing where you are, it's just what it is. Hey, I'm not on the bottom model. And next we have Bryn. Your legs are great, your leaps are great, your acrobatic tricks are great, but you don't attack the dynamics of the music or the style of dance that you're doing. That's where you fall short. Next. Kendall, your duet, third. Next, we have Nia. I'm going to pull this off, too, because Kalani, you were also in a duet with Nia. I think you both could have been stronger. Now, Kalani, you were a little more African than Nia. Abby, I would not go there. I will say both girls were great. Maybe I was shocked to see you do this. I style. think that I think that might be your issue. Where it makes sense for you to do this. Why? Because she's had three weeks of it this summer? No, because she's African American. She looks the part. Abby, what does that have to do with anything? African American does not mean we come from the continent of Africa. I We're know. Americans. This is ridiculous. I think you've lost your mind. Anyone here? who was watching that dance, which you were not, because you didn't show up to do your job. Nia, I'm not trying to be offensive. What I'm trying to say is that I want you to work harder. I want you to be the best that you can possibly be. And I don't think you've even touched on that yet. That is, like, so inappropriate. As history has proven, Abby's really impulsive. And she never takes ownership of what she says anyway. Tony, you weren't perfect. Did it surprise me what you did? Yes. Do I think that you could be better? Yes. And on top of the pyramid is Mackenzie. Yeah! Mackenzie embraced the routine. She had fun with it. 
She is a performer.